think we're gonna try a trout magnet at this spot. All right, this is a deep little pond. I don't know how well you guys can see on GoPro, but this water, it's, pro it's probably like seven or eight feet at the deepest, just right here. Oh, there's a trout right there. There's a little trout right there, just cruising. Let's see if we can get him. There we go. Fish on. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Nice little brook. Look at that. Oh, he came off. He, mm, gosh dang it. Didn't set the hook hard enough, I guess. There we go. Got him. Got him. Bring him over here. Yes. Finally. Look at that little guy. There we go, guys. There are brook trout in this little pond. Man, there's not very many though. Nice colors on them, on that little trout magnet. Oh, that water is so freezing cold, it's not even funny. There he goes. I'm standing on this log and it's like eight feet deep underneath. So if I fall, it's not gonna be pretty. Oh, yep, there's another one. Oh my goodness. That was a nice one. Got him. Got him. Another one. Another one. Oh my goodness. I could see that guy come up for it. There we go. Another beautiful fish. Hooked right there in the tip of the nose. Oh, oh shoot. Oh shoot. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you guys see that? <laughs> wow. Well, that was uh, definitely one of my biggest bloopers of all time. I was trying to unhook that fish, lost the grip on my rod, and she went overboard. Man, that would have really sucked. Because like I said, it's like eight feet deep right there. I don't know how I could have gotten that, this <laughs> it back if it went to the bottom. <sighs> well. That happened. Well, this was a cool little spot, but I think I'm gonna move on. There's some other spots I wanna try. Whew. All right, here we go. Pond number two, pond slash lake. Never fished it before. Let's see what's in here. All right guys, so I've just Got a little marabou jig on, black and yellow. Should stand out pretty well. This water is crystal clear. Oh, oh, there's a fish right there. Oh, oh my gosh, first cast. First cast fish. Oh my good, oh, I snagged him. Shoot. Okay, well he definitely came up and, you know, tried to eat it. Look at that. That is a fat little fish. Calm down, bud. Just wanna show you to the people and let you go. Look at that. He came up from the bottom, swiped at it, missed it, I guess, and I hooked him. There he goes. Well, that was not the only one down there. I think I saw multiple. Oh, yep, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Let's do some exploring around this little lake. Definitely looks sketchy to fish. Tons and tons of logs and boulders. That provides great habitat for these little trout. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. There's one. Oh, missed him. Missed him. Right there. Kind of sight fishing for him. There's a ton of this white stuff, pollen or whatever on the surface, but I can just barely see my jig, and I'm just kind of watching for movement. It's always a treat when you can sight fish for brook trout in about six inches of water. There's one. Oh, there's one right there. There's one right there. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Shoot. Right there in front of me. Oh, he's still there, he's still there. Come on, bud. Come on, he's right there. Gosh dang it. Well, there's fish down there. 
just they can see me especially in water this clear and since they're so close I mean because I hear right here well guys didn't get any more fish from that little pond I just don't think there were that many fish in there to begin with it looked absolutely great but we only caught that one and saw a few others but that's okay we still got tomorrow but it's like four o'clock and it's already starting to get dark thanks to daylight savings this is like the worst time of the year it's literally not even five and it's getting dark and cold so we're gonna build a fire i've actually i picked out a camping spot right here we're gonna be sleeping in the back of the truck and uh, we got this little lake right here that we're gonna fish in the morning hopefully but for now we got to get a fire going and we're gonna cook some dinner first time cooking over a fire in quite a long time i can't even remember first thing we're gonna do collect some firewood some twigs and uh, get her going but I won't bore you guys with scavenging for firewood I'm sure that's something you've seen plenty of all right so we got some dry dead pine needles under there and then some thin sticks to get it going it's been a while since I've made a fire there's been fire restrictions in place all summer and uh, it's the first fire I've built in some time yeah there we go We got the fire going, which is good, but we need to wait for it to burn down into coals. Because for dinner, we're gonna be cooking in tin foil or aluminum foil. So we need a nice hot bed of coals. So even though I like the warmth, warmth from this fire, uh, we need to wait for it to die down. We're making something that I have made before. You guys have probably seen me make it. We are making hobo dinners or tin foil dinners, however you want to call them. If you were ever in scouts, you know precisely what it is. Ground beef, potatoes, carrots, and onions all wrapped in tin foil. It is amazing. We'll double layer it after we put everything in there. Well, I'm starting to realize a problem. Uh, before I left, I froze all my food, including the ground beef. Turns out it's not summer anymore, and the temperature didn't really get above, I don't even know, 50 degrees today, so. Still frozen. We're gonna have to let this thaw by the fire for a minute. We're gonna have to set our ground beef pretty pretty close to the fire. In fact, since I don't have a lot of time, I'm basically gonna set it like right next to the flame. Not on the flame, but uh, just right there. While that's thawing out, let's cut up our potatoes. We have little baby carrots, which are also frozen. We're just gonna put a few, just to give it some color. All right, let's check on our ground beef, see if she's thawed yet. Ooh, she's actually getting there. Yep, she's still pretty frozen in the middle. Ooh. There we go, broke her open. We use about half. We'll use the smaller half. We'll just plop her right on top. All right. And last but not least, we have cream of chicken to give it that moist moistness. You can't just throw this in dry. That will not be good. All right, so the fire is pretty well burnt down. Um, there's not nearly as many coals as I'd like, but I added some wood on there. Hopefully that'll burn down, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap up our dinner here. We're definitely gonna double wrap it. It's not nearly thick enough. The flames will just burn right through that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just set it right there. And hopefully we can get some more coals. I'm gonna take this big black piece of coal and I'm just gonna set it right on top so it can be cooking from underneath and on top well guys while that's cooking i'm going to show you my sleeping setup since we don't have a lot of light um, but basically we're just going to be sleeping in the back 
So this is my little camping setup. I've got two plywood boards um, that I put on two pieces of two or a couple pieces of two by four and just laid it across so I can store all my gear underneath. And up top we have a bed that I've carpeted and uh, we have a little sleeping pad here and a sleeping bag and pillows and a blanket. It's a pretty nice little setup. Um, keeps me warm. Haven't slept in super freezing temperatures yet. I think tonight it's supposed to get down to like 17 degrees if I read the weather report right, but but this might be the coldest night I've ever slept in so far this year, so we'll see how it does. Hopefully we don't get any ice on the lake in the morning, because if it is supposed to get that cold, there's definitely gonna be some ice, but uh, hopefully it's still fishable. Hopefully if there is ice, it'll melt quick, or else we're gonna be in trouble. I don't know if there's gonna be enough light to show you guys the finished product, but man, I am starving. All in all, I've been fishing and wandering around for probably a total of six hours today. Of course, you guys only see a few minutes of it, but um, I've spent hours and hours just wandering around looking for spots to fish. And uh, a lot of a lot of that time has been fruitless. We did find a couple of cool spots to fish and we did catch some fish today. So all in all, it wasn't a total fail, but I mean, just being out here, even if you don't catch any fish, I would consider a win because you know, you could be at school right now, I could be at school right now, or I could be, you know, somewhere else. So just being out here is a win, even if the fishing isn't great. But tomorrow, who knows? We might just absolutely get into them and catch tons and tons of fish. All right, guys, I think it is done. It's sizzling in there. So we're just gonna pull it off. Looks like the meat's cooked, and if the meat's cooked, everything else is probably cooked too. I gotta remember, it gets dark way earlier now. Like, guys, it's 6.04, and it's been dark for like, it's been dark for a while. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Potatoes. Mmm. This is my all time favorite camping meal. And I thought, what better way than to, than to end the year off by uh, cooking one up over a fire. I will say, however, this fork that I just bought from the grocery store, three-pronged, absolutely horrible. That was a waste of $8 for sure. Well, I'm going to finish up my dinner here and, uh, and I'm going to get some sleep tomorrow. Fishing all day. I'd like to get on some tiger trout. I'm not really sure where, but uh, hopefully we can figure it out. Well, good morning, folks. It is a new day and it is freezing cold. It was absolutely freezing last night. I mean, it's like uh, just about nine o'clock and uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cold. It did get down. It, it was well below freezing last night. Like. It was, it was probably like 15 degrees. It's also a little bit windy. Usually it's not this windy this early in the morning, which is not good because uh, that means it's probably gonna get a lot windier later. But first thing on the agenda this morning is to make a fire, cook some breakfast, and uh, then we pretty much got the whole day to fish. But we don't have any coals from last night's fire because I dumped water on it just because it was gonna be a little bit breezy and I didn't want any ashes to blow and start a fire so we're gonna have to start from scratch this morning So just like last night, we gotta let the fire burn down to a nice hot bed of coals because today we are making orange rolls for breakfast. Some of you guys are probably wondering how am I gonna make orange rolls? Well, I'll show you. All you need are two cast iron frying pans. You place one on top of the other, set it on the hot bed of coals, put some coals on top, and that acts like an oven. And uh, you can pretty much bake anything you want. I've cooked cinnamon rolls over a fire before and they turned out great. So I thought, might as well try it again, only this time with some orange rolls. Pillsbury, the best kind. So first thing we wanna do is put some butter um, so they don't stick and add a little bit of that uh, buttery flavor. 
set that in the flame, let it melt down. And we'll crack open our rolls here. Whoa! She had a little pressure in there, I see. Try to do this as neatly as possible. We'll kind of space them out because they are going to rise and take up just about the whole pan. But there we go. Not the prettiest, but they're going to taste amazing if we can do this right. All right, then we'll take this other frying pan and just set it right on top. You could wire it down, like you could get some bailing wire and wire it shut so it doesn't fall off, but I forgot wire, so we're just gonna have to balance it on there and hope it doesn't fall off. All right, so we got a pretty decent bed of coals. So now we'll take our rolls and just place them right on there. And then we'll take some of these other coals and set them on top so it can be cooking from the top as well as the bottom. Last time I did this, it didn't take too long. It took like, I don't know, 15 20 minutes so it shouldn't take too long we just got to make sure we put fresh coals on top or else uh you know it's not gonna cook if they're not hot check back in like 10 minutes see how she's doing all right guys so it's been about 10 minutes we're gonna check them i've got this other little fire over here so i can replace these coals with fresh ones when they're not as hot just brush these off to the side Let's see how these are looking I'm hopeful. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that, folks. We got them rising. Honestly, that's better than I expected. But look how beautiful those look. Nice. Um, there's still plenty doughy on top, so. In fact, it looks like, from what I can tell, the bottom is done, but the top is still doughy. So there must have been too much heat coming up from underneath and not enough on top. So we're actually gonna set it on this rock right here and then we're only gonna put coals on top because I think the top still needs uh, still needs some time so oh yeah there we go look at that I'll just spread it around and there we go orange rolls cooked on a fire. Talk about a gourmet camping breakfast. At least it's gourmet to me. There's probably some five-star chefs out there just losing their minds right now, but you can't deny that doesn't look pretty good, especially for being cooked on a fire, just with two little frying pans. But it's all about how it tastes. You already know what I'm gonna say. Mmm, that is very good. Look at that. lake is looking absolutely beautiful today and the winds kind of died down a little bit and the sun's out and it's starting to warm up so conditions are looking good at least for me i don't know about the fish i have never caught a fish out of this lake right here i know they're in here but haven't been able to hook one so hopefully that changes today hmm so you can see right here all this green looking stuff it's actually ice. So it did actually freeze a little bit last night, but uh, just right here close to shore. Oh, look at that. We've got like a little pond right here. That looks like a deep pond too. There could be fish down there. Let's go check it out. So there's the spillway. Oh yeah, that looks good right there. There's gotta be fish right here. Well guys, no fish from this spot, which I'm surprised by. It looks absolutely amazing, but I don't know. I just don't think there's any fish in here. So let's move on. All right guys, so I've come across to the other side of the lake and I have found the fish. I walked right up on them and there's a bunch of big brook trout right there. I think they might've seen me. I couldn't see them, 
but uh, hopefully they're not, I can still catch them. Cause dude, there's like tons of nice fish right there. All right, just gonna toss my little jig at them. Hopefully they're hungry. Oh, a couple of them seemed inter interested. A couple of them. Got him! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That was the biggest one. Whoa, the biggest one had it in his mouth while it was sitting on the bottom. Come back for it, buddy. Come on, come on. Man, there's some lunkers sitting down there. Got him, got him, got him. Oh my gosh, got a fish. Got a fish, got a fish, got a fish. Oh my goodness. Bring them over here so I don't scare the other ones. There's a lot more down there. Got a nice brook. Flip them up. Check this out. Beautiful, beautiful brook. Man, absolutely beautiful colors. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, and there he goes. Oh my gosh, guys, that was so cool. Literally, they're like bedding over there. And I just tossed this little panfish grub at him. Literally just a tiny little ice fishing jig. And he picked it up right off the bottom. That was so cool. I don't know if the GoPro can see these fish, but they're like, you know, five or six feet from the bank. All just cruising. I mean, there's some pigs out there. I'm gonna switch it up and tie on a trout magnet. Oh, 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 oh. He was going down to it. Oh my gosh, there's an absolute giant down there. Oh my gosh, got him! Got the big one! Got the big one! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Got the big one! That's a giant! Oh my gosh, that's huge! That is huge! He was just cruising around like he was protecting a bed. Oh my gosh, this is, oh, this is giant. This is giant. Oh my gosh, look at that fish. Look at that freaking trout. Whew. Get him over here. Get him over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I left my net back in my truck. Shoot. I was not expecting to catch fish this big. Look at that. You guys, look at this hooked right there on the side of the mouth. He just kind of went nose down in the dirt um, and just tried to get it away from his nest or something and we got him. That is epic. There he is. Beautiful, beautiful male brook trout. He's really, really skinny, um, which is probably why he didn't fight very hard. He's probably been spawning. I don't know, I guess that takes a lot of energy for these fish, but Man, what a gorgeous, gorgeous trout. I mean, look at that. It does not get much better than that. Wow, that is definitely one of the nicer fish I've caught in a while. Look at just, oh my gosh. He's ready to go for sure. Just look at those shoulders. Oh, and there he goes. There he goes. There's that big guy right there, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six other fish right there that I can see. Well, I'm gonna give those fish a break. I caught two and I don't wanna overpressure the spot, so we're just gonna let them be. Um, we still do need some lunch though. I am planning on having fish for lunch, but I, there was just no way I was gonna keep a fish that big. So we're gonna go see if we can catch one a little bit smaller. I mean, the sun is already like more than halfway in the sky, which is absolutely crazy. It feels like I just woke up and the day's already over halfway over. Daylight savings, man. All right, here we are, guys. This is the little pond we fished last night and we're gonna give it another try. The fish in here are about perfect pan size. So if we can get one or two of them, that'll be perfect. All right, so I've got this little panfish grub on again. Let's see if we can get one of these brookies to eat. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Oh, oh missed him. 
There's one down there. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Oh my gosh, he's right there. Oh, he saw me. He followed it all the way in. And he must have seen me because he bolted. Oh, there's a couple. There's a few. Wait, there's like three or four fish right there. Watch this. I'm going to get one. <gasps> Got him. Got him. That's a good one, too. That's a good one, too. Oh, gosh. There's like three, three or four other fish over there. Immediately, this guy came out and grabbed it. Here we go. I think I'm going to keep this guy. Perfect pan size. We might keep another one, but I just want to make sure we have at least some food. That's a beautiful little brook trout right there. Got him, got him, got him, got him. That's a good one, that's a good one. Another nice brook trout. I'm almost tempted to keep this one, but I don't know, I don't know. I think we're just gonna let him go. Absolutely beautiful, there he goes. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Got him, got him. Got him. <laughs> Jigged him up. Whoa. Look at that guy. That is one of the darkest fish I've seen, man. He's got like a black stomach and everything. Hooked right there in the tip of the nose. Doesn't get any better than this. Brook trout in the fall. Oh my gosh. I can't get enough of them. All right guys, just hook this one off camera. It's a pretty nice one. That's the biggest one I've caught out of here at least. Yeah, that's a really good fish. Nice and fat. It's probably full of eggs, so we're gonna get her back on that little panfish grub or whatever it is. See you later. Oh, that's ice right there, sorry. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot there was ice right there. Look at these beautiful fillets. Nice orange meat. Whew, these are gonna taste good. I'm just gonna take a little pinch of salt. Then we can't forget the roasted garlic and herb. My favorite seasoning. We're actually gonna stab some holes in the meat so the lemon juice can actually get in there. Oh yeah, I think they're just about done. Oh yeah, that's perfect. All right, there we go. Fresh brook trout. You know what I should have made is fish tacos. This is good all on its own, just the fish, but now I'm thinking of fish tacos. Well, my fish is getting cold, so I'm actually going to throw it on the burner for another minute or so just to warm it up. It is chilly today. Mm. I'm thinking I definitely should have kept another fish. Because this is so good. Mm. Well, that went quick.
Well guys, I was gonna end the video, but then I thought I'd stop off at this little pond on my way out. I'm not sure if there's any fish in it, but it looks good. And I don't know, we gotta give it a try at least, right? All right. There's a fish, there's a fish, fish, fish. Two of them, two of them, two of them, shoot. And I just got snagged. There's two fish right there that followed it in. At the same time, I got hung up on this log. Oh, gosh dang it. There's two fish right there. Got him, got him. Oh, shoot. Oh my gosh, my drag was like way loose. Way too loose and he popped off. Gosh dang it. It's good to know that there's fish in here and they're ready to bite. Oh, there's a bite. Oh my gosh, he missed it. I'm seeing a lot of brook trout that are in like the three to six inch range. At least I think they're brook trout. They might have been tiger, they might be tiger trout that they stalked, but from the looks of it, there's a lot of small fish in this lake. I've seen a few nice ones. Got him, got him, got him, got him. There we go. First fish from this little pond. Nice little brook. Beautiful brook. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. Look at that. Those are some impressive colors and patterns right there. Man, just look at his patterns. So dark. He's got that kind of tiger zigzag pattern on the top. You can definitely tell this fish has been caught before. If you look at this side of his mouth, it's kind of ripped up. It's not connected, I guess. As opposed to this side, it looks a lot more normal. Still a beautiful fish, nonetheless. One of the, one of the prettiest. And there he goes. Oh, there's another one, there's another one, there's another one. Oh my goodness, another one, oh my gosh. Very next cast, I could see two, two of them. Oh man, I might have stumbled across a honey hole right here. Got him, got him. Another one, same spot, same spot. This one's a little smaller, a female. Another pretty little brook trout. This one's actually kind of messed up looking, look. His gill's a little messed up, and his mouth is a little jacked up too, still. Thanks for biting. Let's go for number three in that spot. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, there's another bite. Got him. Got him. Three bites later. Oh, that's a go. Oh, man. I just can't. I mean, what more can you say? I keep repeating myself, but man, what a beautiful fish. Oh, oh, and there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Quick catch and release for you right there. Oh, got him, got him. Little guy, really little guy. What do we have here? That's a new species. Oh wait, no it's not. <laughs> it's a brook. It's a lot more silver and, you know, light colored, so I thought it was like a rainbow or a cutthroat or something, but... No, it's just a very pale brook, brook trout. There's a ton of these little guys in there that I've been seeing. Alright guys, just caught this one off camera. He was just sitting up here shallow and I threw right at him and I watched him suck it in. Another beautiful, beautiful colored out brook trout. Oh man, look at how red that belly is and how red the fins are. <laughs> Doesn't get much better than that. This might be the last fish of the trip. It's a good one to end on right there. Well guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. 
This might be one of the last times we get up here this year before the snow comes, so I'm really glad we got out here and uh, we caught some good fish. If you guys like this video, go down there, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.